Hi Taurus, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading from February 1st through the 15th, 2018. I hope you guys are all doing well and happy Valentine's Day to all of you. For your reading today, I'm using the Lover's Path Tarot by Chris Walder. I will be clarifying with the Everyday Oracle. Uh, this is also known as the Vera Sibilla Italiana, my little Italian Oracle cards. And at the end of your reading, I will be pulling a guidance message from the Rumi Oracle right here by Alana Fairchild. So if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Hi Taurus, this is your love reading from February 1st through the 15th for all Taurus suns, moons, risings. Taurus is on the cusp and also if your Venus is in Taurus. Let's go ahead and get start shuffling your cards here. Spirit, what are the most important messages and energies that you have for the sign of Taurus? Ooh, the Ace of Coins flipped over. This is wonderful. Uh, it does talk about new beginnings. Um, some of you may be starting a new job, receiving some, a gift of money, um, getting paid. Um, I'm definitely seeing new opportunities here for you and definitely gifts coming to you. So excellent for uh, money, excellent for um New relationships, new beginnings in relationships. It feels very healthy and grounded. So let's see if that card comes out again in your reading. Spirit, what are the most important messages and energies that you have for the sign of Taurus? This is their bi-weekly love reading from, from February 1st through the 15th, 2018. What are the most important messages and energies? you have for the sign of Taurus. We're going to do two more shuffles here. Messages for Taurus regarding our love lives. February 1st through the 15th, 2018. This is their bi-weekly love reading. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have transformation in reverse. Right, so this is similar to the death card. We have a story of Persephone and Pluto. And what I'm seeing here is that there's definitely some deep changes happening for you, possibly in a significant relationship. But these changes haven't fully manifested yet. Now, if you're single, it could say that um, maybe in other areas of your life you're going through some changes. Um, the important thing is not to run away from them, but to embrace them. And also, um, this can sometimes indicate burning bridges, running away from someone or something within a specific relationship. So, let's take a look at the cards to see what that might be referring to. Five of coin in the center, crossed by the awakening card or the sun. What comes below you is the six of cups in reverse. In your thoughts and feelings, I have uh, desire, beautiful. This is uh, similar to the strength card. In the past, we have oppression or the tower. And in the near future, we have Contemplation, or the Hermit. So you have quite a lot of Major Arcana right away. Um, I'm seeing four Major Arcana. 
and they're in significant positions. Well, all of these positions are significant, but as you can see, going straight across here and also in your crowning position. So this is telling me that there are major planetary forces at work in your life that are going to be affecting you over the next two weeks and probably likely longer. And also in the past, I see that you have major arcana in your past. So could be a tumultuous time, could be a time of change and transformation for you. Um, you're probably already going through it, is what I'm seeing. Um, walking into February, we have the Five of Coins. Okay, not the best card, but let's talk about it. I see someone who feels quite alone. Now, if you're someone who is a single mom, or you are um, recently widowed or divorced, or even if you're in a relationship, you could be feeling quite alone at this time. This is feeling like abandoned, feeling out in the cold, maybe even feeling like an outsider. Um, but the uh, the fable with this card um, is that you are not alone, and actually there is help out there for you. Um, this can be likened to kind of a poverty mindset, which is there is a perception of lack in your life, whether real or imagined. You may feel like you're not getting the assistance that you need financially. You may feel that you're not, um, maybe you feel taken for granted uh, emotionally or even abandoned in some area of your life. But um, I do see that uh, this is this is not ideal for you. I can tell that you're not maybe as happy as you could be right now. And it, it definitely has to do with your physical and emotional security. Your challenge is the awakening here, or the sun. All right, we have uh, Cupid and Psyche pictured here. And this is about happiness and clarity. It is about um, that inner child. It could even be regarding a child as well. But um, the sun brings that warmth. As we can see, this is a very cold scene here, and you could literally be feeling out in the cold. But the challenge is to, there's some self-acceptance with this card, with the awakening, with the sun. Um, it is about truly being happy. So in the challenge position, it could be that some of you are suffering from depression, some of you are feeling burned out, there could be ill health, or maybe even um, someone has gotten hurt here, whether in a relationship or um, even maybe their child got hurt somehow. But I'm seeing that um, this is also what can help you is to find clarity, find the truth, um, find your son, what is going to make you happy at the end of the day. All right, um, in your love life, etc. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. This is the sign, the sign of Leo, the the Sun card. Um, we have your Earth energy here with the Five of Coins. <coughs> in the past, we have um, the Tower or oppression. So there could have been a separation. There may have been something very dramatic that has happened. Um, something shocking. Something that revealed something about your relationship, something that has changed the very chemistry of your relationship if you're in one. This can also, this can rep represent so many things, really the tower. Um, only you'll know what the tower event was for you in the past, but definitely this is something that has um, made you have to rebuild in some area of your life. Um, and maybe you're with the five of coins here, it feels like not a lot, or it feels like it's not enough, or it feels like it's just you and your partner against the cold, cruel world. There, for some of you, could be issues with um, finances or even um, just the process of rebuilding could seem very daunting. So remember that the sun is here to wake you up to what is really important, what can really make you happy. Um, at the root of the situation we have the Six of Cups. It is in reverse. So uh, this is a soulmate card, but it really talks about being stuck in the past, um, not being able to shake the bad memories 
possibly even bringing the bitter memories with you instead of only bringing the good memories. Um, I feel like there's some resentment, some bitterness, some feelings of um, things could have been so much better or things could have worked out so much better. Um, there's definitely a dwelling in the past or a feeling of maybe too much nostalgia or things were so much better then, why can't they be good now? But it's um, important to um, remember our childhood. Remember, this could even go back to childhood issues or, or thinking about your childhood. Um, it's a card of innocence, usually. It's a card of kindness, sweetness, trust, generosity. But it could be that things have turned sour or things have just not been going great and you are wishing for the days of yore but um, the problem is is that we have to deal with you know reality and sometimes reality ain't that great but I do see that you are um, like you have the strength card so you have a strong bond with someone or you are also feeling quite strong inside um, definitely, if you're going through something difficult, this is the card that you want to see. Um, you have someone here, I'm seeing some of you have someone there that you can really embrace, really put, you know, you can, you have someone here that you can lean on. If, I definitely see a strong bond here. Um, it is the tale of Tristan and Isolde. If anyone knows the tale of Tristan and Isolde, I actually have the guidebook here, but for the sake of time, I just see that there's someone here that you love very much. Um, you, need, you need to be strong for this person, and they need to be strong for you at this time. It is requiring a lot of fortitude. It's requiring um, you to kind of tame your ego. It's requiring you to uh, be a good support. Be You have to be supportive. You have to stay strong through this. Um, I also feel like you... Definitely, for those of you out there who aren't partnered, there is someone that you desire very much, and you, um, you're you also trying to maintain your feelings. You're trying to, what do I want to say? It's like you don't feel, you don't feel good uh, in the relationship, but you still desire this person. You still want this person very much. Um... But maybe you can't be with this person right now, and you need to find what makes you happy. If you, Even if you can't be with this person, you need to be happy without them kind of thing. So, going into the future, we have the uh, Abelard and Eloise card. This is the card of contemplation. As you can see, we have kind of like a Scrivener here. I always think of him as like Bartleby the Scrivener. Someone who is spending time alone, um, working alone. You could be spending some time just contemplating um, where you really need to be. It's a more, it's a card about following a spiritual path as well. This is also the sign of Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo. Um, the Virgo coming up in the future here. It's just saying that um, it's a time for concentration, for working alone, working on yourself. Um, it's not really telling me much about um, a love relationship. It's saying that now is the time that you need to kind of spend um, contemplating your life, your path forward. Um, and uh, you may very well, some of you could be single at this time or want to be single or want to spend some time in solitude contemplating what is really happening and where you need to be. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and clarify some of these cards for ya. <clears throat> we will, um, we'll start with the five of coins here, of course, in the center. And spirit, why is the five of coins here for Taurus? We have the um, the mort or the death card, falseness or the lie. 
And we have the Gran Signore, the man of high society. He wanted to come out reverse, but I don't read reversals. <coughs> I'm seeing that you've left someone or some situation behind completely with the death card. This is about abandonment, complete detachment from a situation. All right, um, clarifying the five of coins here. We have the lie, falsita. So someone is not telling the truth or has in in hidden intentions or motives. This can also reveal a hypocrisy. And then we have the man of high society here, the Lord, the king of hearts. This may um, be involving someone that you know. This is someone who... Uh, well, he's dressed well, he's known about town, he's the man about time, he, town, he is the man, uh, the man with the plan. So this um, man is actually looking at the cat here, which is the lie. So this could be, um, you may be feeling out in the cold due to separation from someone, possibly uh, a man, who because of a lie, um, you could not be, you could not tolerate. <clears throat> And um, I want to know why the Awakening card here is in your challenge position. Why is the Sun card or the Awakening in the challenge position for Taurus? We have another card that came out. <clears throat> the Suspiri. So I see someone here who is reflecting or meditating on something that has happened here. It's not a card of action. Um, as you can see, she's simply just thinking. Um, it could also be that you are thinking about um, a message that you received or a letter. Why is the awakening in the challenge position for Taurus? We have the lover <clears throat> and the nuptials. Why is the awakening in the challenge position for Taurus? And we have the lightness, legereza, beautiful. So these all seem to be very positive cards coming up with the sun because I see a shy woman who hides her feelings. So it could be about revealing someone's feelings. The solid bond, union, or alliance. So <clears throat> this is definitely involving someone that you love. And um, that union, that bond, that maybe even solidifying that bond because she's he's putting a ring on her finger. And we have the lightness. So it's about sensitivity, tact, and irritability. But also I see this card as about sexuality, freedom, um... Uh, because, as you can see, the butterfly is just very delicate creature. Um, butterfly is what are like social, like a social butterfly, someone that flies from something that goes from flower to flower. So it is about doing things in just the right way, having just the right touch. Um, but lightness is like freedom as well. So um, this to me just talks about love, pure and simple, and also I'm seeing a woman here who, uh, this definitely could be involving, um, a strong bond that you have with someone, someone that you love very much, and it could also be, um, I'm definitely seeing this could be a sexual relationship, definitely, something, someone that you're intimate with, etc. <clears throat> So the next thing I want to know is why is the Six of Cups coming up reversed for Taurus? Why is the Six of Cups coming up reversed for Taurus? We have the depression. 
So I'm seeing someone here who is dealing with some melancholy or sadness. And it's likely because stuck in the past about something. We have the haughtiness, ostentation, vanity, arrogance. <clears throat> someone is being is too proud basically or has a lot of pride but also this is about um well haughtiness is haughtiness it's the peacock here so showing off and we have the pensiero so this is just about <clears throat> maybe someone is just reflecting on a situation here because they might obviously they're thinking about writing a letter they're just it's just about a thought here um <clears throat> I'm seeing a man and a woman here but the sex uh, of the people doesn't really make that big of a difference the reason why you or someone is stuck in the past here is because of depression uh, pride arrogance and that they're just thinking about Maybe something that happened in the past and thinking about writing, maybe thinking about communicating, but perhaps because of pride or, or vanity, that's not happening. Um, why is contemplation coming up in the future for Taurus? Why is contemplation coming up in the future for Taurus? We have the married woman. Respect or attraction toward the mother of a family. I'm seeing someone that has two children, or this could even be someone who is married, or involving someone who is married that has children. <coughs> I see someone who is quite faithful and devoted, possibly to their family, but we also have someone who is a good friend. Um, with the lover, I'm seeing requited love or affection, so I definitely see, um, if you are single, I see someone here who is probably going to be wanting to come back into the picture. Um, and I also see that this person wants to be loyal to you. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing this particular person all throughout the reading, actually. I just feel like um, it's possible that um, you, Taurus, are wanting to spend some time on your own. Um, but I do feel like this is, I do see someone here who has the potential to be quite faithful to you, and I do see requited love in the picture. It may just take a conversation or two to get through to this person. Um, so that's what I have for your reading today. And I'm going to go ahead and pull your guidance message <clears throat> in the next frame here. Spirit, what is the guidance message that you have for Taurus? <clears throat> From February 1st through the 15th, 2018. The Blessing of Al-Hakim, number 40. I really hope my camera doesn't fall over. All right. <clears throat> Beautiful message. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I sound like a, a, a goat <laughs> while I'm talking. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to read a little bit from the book here. Um, if you want to follow along, these messages are actually online. You just need to Google the title of the card, which is Blessing of Al-Hakim, number 40 from the Rumi Oracle. Here is the book, the guidebook. Um, there's going to be a short poem at the beginning, and then we'll get into the message. It's a bit of a long message. 
If you don't want to stick around for the whole thing, maybe just listen to the first paragraph or so. Because this will provide um, clarity over your entire reading. At least I have found it has helped clarify the readings. <clears throat> it says, sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment. Cleverness is opinion. Bewilderment is vision. Rumi. The gift of wisdom, the blessing of Al-Hakim, gurgles up from your heart. Her blessing is evoked by life, like the laughter of a babe joyfully responding to the playful tickle of the mother's hand. Wisdom can make divine sense of anything, especially of that where logic is blinded. How I revere the blessing of Al-Hakim, of wisdom, for she is precious and welcome to me now and always, the dear friend who brings me such peace. <clears throat> a blessing of divine wisdom of Al-Hakim is being ministered to your soul, watched over by Rumi himself. This is soul medicine. It is a spiritual gift of healing, prophecy, insight, and the capacity to surrender any impatient claim for what you cannot yet have. As you receive this gift, this blessing which happens at a soul level, your attitude to life becomes more curious, open, still, and receptive. You no longer have to drive the unfoldment of your desires into form. You rest in assurance that your daily application and effort is enough, and so is your surrender. Mental anguish is soothed and you are able to accept the unfathomable nature of divinity in its expression of itself as life. You become comfortable with the reality that the price of being closer to the divine is the giving up of your need to always understand. From this place of increasing stillness, great activity will flow. You shall become capable of being a surrendered vessel to the guiding divine hand, and truly great contributions to the human soul evolving can occur through you. So much will simply emerge, erupt, pulsate, and emanate out of you. And yet you will feel within as though you are doing nothing at all, even whilst so much is happening through you. Such holy paradox shall become your daily experience. <clears throat> you may feel unexpectedly, perhaps, that in some ways your vision for your life and purpose, your divine passion, is clearer than ever before and in other ways completely unknown to you, a discovery yet to be made. That is as it should be. Wisdom bestows upon us the same capacity to work with the opportunities that are right before us, to release situations and circumstances that have passed, and to allow the future to take its shape according to the ineffable timing of life itself. <coughs> Excuse me. This oracle comes with special guidance for you, Taurus. If you are uncertain about an issue in your life, be at peace. There is divine healing that can occur most readily in the unknowing. Follow the sacred honoring ritual and know that all is indeed well, beloved soul. Perhaps you are journeying very deep indeed and your allegiance to your intellectual mind is softening in favor of allegiance to your heart knowing. You may find yourself craving different company with different interests or finding the world of opinions and debate rather less to your liking and the world of creative expression more nurturing and nourishing to your essence. If this is the case, this oracle comes as a confirmation to trust in the changes you feel within in any and all ways, no matter how insignificant or dramatic they may seem. Know that they are seedlings of a new way that shall grow from one step into an entirely new and more sacred orientation in your life. You will not necessarily have any idea how that will happen or what it will look like. This matters not. The acorn becomes the oak because that is its innate destiny. It happens without any active participation apart from a willingness to grow through life. So it is with the precious blooming now happening within your soul. To know less can bring the greatest gift and blessing of all, to be able to love and therefore live more freely. This oracle also comes with special guidance to bring you peace. 
Look to the old ways, to the ancient wisdom teachings that run as one vein of life, giving love through all traditions. The old wisdoms teach of cycles, of timing, of letting go to allow for new life to happen, and of the greater intelligence and scheme of life to which we must surrender if we are ever to know even a mo moment's peace. The fire in your belly is a beautiful aspect of you. Just let it be the breath that swirls around and through the heart that ignites it, not the passing, huffing, and puffing of the impatient mind. <clears throat> For when the fire in the belly is fanned by the breath of the heart, you shall have peace and dynamic movement, restful stillness and soul-inspired action. All at once, you shall become one with the living holy paradox, and the healing power of your love shall know no bounds. <coughs> Sacred Honoring Ritual Say aloud, I call on the divine presence that loves me unconditionally, and I surrender into your wisdom. Bless me now with the ability to accept your grace, your bounty, and your gift of my life in all its mystery. Help me learn and grow that I may realize the love that lies within all, including my own being. May I dwell in the loving memory, <laughs> may I dwell in the loving mystery of sacred compassion. I call upon the wisdom of the ancient ones, those who love me unconditionally and know truth. May your power and knowledge <clears throat> call my mind and ignite my spirit so that I may be one with love, empowered in peace and purpose. So be it. Rest. You have completed your sacred honoring ritual. Thank you so much for tuning in, Taurus, and I do send you off with much love and light on your journey forward. Take good care of yourselves. <laughs>